It is not just Ukrainians taking on the Russian army. Military vets from around the world, including the United States, are traveling to Ukraine to fight. President Zelensky said 16,000 volunteers from all over the world have offered to help Ukraine fight. We can't confirm that number, but we do know that the Ukrainian people are getting support from American military veterans in a variety of ways. We're about to talk to two U.S. vets who are doing their part to bring aid and supplies to the Ukrainian people. Here now is Dakota Meyer, former Marine sniper and Medal of Honor recipient, along with Chad Robichaud, former Marine and co-founder of Save Our Allies. All right, I can't say where you guys are. Uh, you guys are probably in the right place at the right time where you two usually are. We'll start with you, Dakota. What is the game plan for you over there? Uh, you know, look, we're, we're just over here trying to make a difference, you know, trying to figure out where, where we fit and, and supply, uh, you know, med medical aid and, and, and supplies, as well as uh, helping, uh, you know, get, get people out, you know, good people out, Americans, uh, you know, and people on the side of good. So, Chad, you guys aren't pulling any triggers, are you? Or what's going, that could happen or not? No, you know, we're here, uh, you know, I know a lot of veterans are talking about going into combatant roles. Uh, for us, you know, uh, we're mostly special operations veterans. We have a tremendous amount of experience. We've done our time fighting. We're here to do the right thing and, and to help people that need help, evacuate Americans, evacuate wounded uh, people, bring medical aid to the front line, and just support the effort and stand on the, on the right side of this, this terrible, terrible thing. And so save our allies. You know, in Afghanistan, we were able to rescue 17,000 people and we didn't engage in any combat there, uh, even though, you know, we don't like the Taliban. Uh, <laughs> but we, we stayed out of the trouble there. And the same thing here. We're here to just, uh, just to help. Save our allies. Everybody can go there right now and, and support that organization however they want. Uh, so, Dakota, you guys are doing a lot of logistics. Any intelligence? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, the, the, there's a, the, you know, th this is a complex situation. You know, it's not, it's not like Iraq and Afghanistan. I mean, this is, you've got two sovereign nations who are, who are fighting against each other, uh, you know, tit for tat. I mean, th this is, this is not, uh, you know, th this is, this is a complex situation. And so the intel aspect of this and making sure you're doing this right is not only going to, you know, keep you and your team safe, but, uh, you know, even more importantly, it's going to help you keep the people we're trying to help be safe, uh, as well as be able to do this, uh, you know, long term. And that, that's kind of what we're doing is we're, you know, we're not, we're not trying to rush in there. I mean, look, we have, uh, you know, our team has already gone in and, and made successful extractions. Uh, uh, but, you know, right now we're, we're trying to make sure that we've got everything lined up uh, just to ensure that, you know, we, you know not, not just that we're safe, but that the people we're trying to help, that we're not putting them in a worse situation, which is very critical right now. Absolutely. All right. Chad, you could have thank you guys. It's an honor to talk to you. And the Ukrainian people and Americans who are over there are very grateful for everything that you guys are doing. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.